Here we're looking for the voltage transfer function and we're supposed to use the proportionality method. I think the first thing I'll do uh, is use a standard method of applying a unit voltage source. So between these terminals here, let me just replace that by drawing in voltage source with value 1. Now since we're using the proportionality method, that means we assume a value for V out that's convenient. Uh, maybe in this case I'll pick 8 volts. Knowing that, we're making that assumption means we don't know this anymore, so we're trying to backtrack and find out what our input actually is. So with this choice of 8 volts across the 8 ohm resistor, that gives us a unit current, 1 amp. Um, there's 0 cur current heading off in that direction, so that means we've got 1 or unit current passing through this. And I see I forgot to write down the S domain versions of my elements, so let's go ahead and do that. The uh, Capacitor looks like 1 over Cs, so that's 8 over S. Same reasoning, this would be 12 over S. Inductors are S times L. Like that. I'm going to clean up the drawing here just a, a moment. So now we're on track. So voltage that appears across this capacitor is 1 times the impedance. So that means that voltage is 12 over S. Uh, we have a total voltage rise from, I'll change colors pin, total voltage rise going from this node to that node. of 8 volts plus 12 over S. So our expressions are starting to get a little bit larger. Let me call this IA. IA is the voltage across that element divided by its impedance. So that means the current right here, I'll call that IB, that would be I sub A plus 1. I'll call the voltage across the capacitor VC. VC is IB times the impedance 8 over S. So we'll call that V sub D, and that equals, again, same concept. Start here, work through the two elements, and say the total voltage rise is 8 plus 12 over S plus VC. I'll define that current as I sub E to start up upper left. IE is VD divided by 1 half S. Coming down the home stretch. IF is IE plus IB. So you can see after a while we're going to have a bunch of substitutions to take care of here. VG is 5 IF. And finally, I'll call that um, V question mark. The thing we're trying to find 
is VD plus VG. So I'm going to switch to Maple to get some help with uh, doing all of our substitutions and combining things and so on. But once we've done that, then H of S is going to become our assumed output of 8 divided by whatever we find for V question mark. Make Maple worksheet is pretty straightforward here. I'm just uh, keying in the equations that we had entered earlier or derived earlier. So let me step through those. And eventually we get that uh, sort of massive interleaved expression there for Vn. We do the transfer function is the assumed voltage 8 divided by the input voltage that we found Vn. And uh, just do the maple normalize function to put it in a standard format. And we end up with that result. Problem statement requests that we have a unit coefficient on the highest order denominator term, so we need to divide top and bottom by 13. Having done that, we end up with the result back in our worksheet. Overall, the transfer function is a fourth order polynomial on top, fourth order polynomial on the bottom. Uh, just to confirm that with the original circuit, we had a total of one, two, three, four independent energy storage elements, so that would uh, normally lead to a fourth order result when you're done.